Who is a Game of Thrones fan? Do you remember Masundi, Daenerys Targaryen's interpreter? If you don't, I'll remind you of her and the woman behind the character, Natalie Emanuel. Stay tuned because we will dive deep into her life, career, workout, and diet routine in today's episode. And if you're looking to get the celeb workout inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. Let me know if you have a favorite celebrity you'd like me to feature in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Now, let's get to the video. Natalie Emanuel's Life Natalie Emanuel was born in South End on Sea, an English beach resort town on March 2, 1989. Her father is half English, half St. Lucian, and has Dominican ancestry. Her mother is Dominican. An older sister of hers exists. During Emanuel's time at the independent St. Hilda School, which closed in 2014, and later the grammar school Westcliff High School for Girls, she first noticed her mother's love and desire to pursue a career in acting. She said when I was three, I'd always cause drama, and my mom thought maybe I could channel it properly. So she began me on acting, singing, and dancing classes in an interview with the New York Daily News. She portrayed young Nala in the West End version of The Lion King when she was 10 years old. She appeared on television for the first time in 2006 as Sasha Valentine in the soap opera Holyoaks. Emmanuel made appearances on the show. Her character's plot lines involved prostitution and heroin addiction. The BBC3 documentary WebSex, What's the Harm?, which looked into the online sexual behaviors of 16 to 24 year olds in the UK, was presented by Emmanuel in January 2012. She made her film debut in the thriller 28K later that year. She was given the role of Masunde, Daenerys Targaryen's interpreter in the fantasy drama series Game of Thrones on HBO the following year. She acknowledged in a Jimmy Kimmel interview that she was working as a shop assistant in a clothing store when she learned that she had won the part. Emmanuel was elevated to regular cast status on the show in 2015. The only important woman of color in the program was Miss Sunday, and her death scene, which took place while she was in chains, was criticized by fans for being frivolous and conjuring up images of slavery. I love it though, so I'm like a hardcore fan. Were you a fan from the beginning. Oh really? Before yeah. you because what yeah. season did you start on the show? Uh, season three. Season so. three, right. So you yeah. oh so there were two seasons that you didn't it's not like you knew there was a plan to put you on the show eventually. No, no. I just watched it and was like obsessed with it. What were you doing when you got that job? I was uh working in a retail store, in a clothes shop at the in time. In a clothing store, really? Yeah, wow. I was like really out of work at the time. So I was what, like, you know, you were like paying a, the bills, a as you do. Shot cashier or whatever. Oh, yeah. I worked in like clothes store. I had to like work, like work behind the registers. Yes, the were. register. What yeah. do you guys call it? Call um, it the till. Oh, the till. That's yeah. very charming. Yeah. So I'm working at the till. Yeah. <laughs> so I was. I'd either do that or I would have to fold the clothes or like. My favorite part of playing with Sande has been. Um, having the opportunity to map out her journey. I mean, she started off as a girl who was incredibly intelligent, but she was enslaved, she, that's all she knew. And becoming a free-thinking, independent human being and having choice, and like, that's been amazing, and sort of learning who she is, like, like just such a joy for, as an actor to do. And I've got to do it alongside some really amazing people you know, through the storyline with um, Jacob, who plays Grey Worm, and her experiencing love and intimacy for the first time. And then also with um, Amelia, who plays Daenerys, and her finding friendship in this crazy, crazy world that is Game of Thrones, that's so brutal and violent. She and Grey Worm especially, they've just kind of created this little moment of sort of pocket of joy and like so sweet and pure <laughs> and um, it's been amazing to play that and be involved in, in that story. Later, Emmanuel explained to The Guardian that Masunde was the sole one killed, which is why there was such a large outcry. I believe that many of the individuals who experienced alienation or disenfranchisement had a connection with her or felt that she represented them, particularly women of color. People were in such agony when she passed away and in the minute that she did because they thought, wait, no, is that how they plan to handle the lone woman of color? She appeared in two further films in 2015, Harriet in the science fiction adventure Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and Ramsey, a computer hacker, in the action movie Furious 7. As a result, 
Emmanuel was given the Screen Nation Award for Best Female Performance in Motion Picture. In the 2018 film Maze Runner The Death Cure, she reprised her role as Harriet. Emmanuel claimed in 2017 that portraying Masunday taught her the art of subtlety and that playing Ramsey, which required her to use sound stages and green screens, helped her strengthen her acting skills by encouraging her to use her imagination. She played Ramsey again in F9, which was originally scheduled for release in May 2020, but was delayed until June 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She previously played Ramsey in The Fate of the Furious in 2017 and again in F9. In the Quibi original action comedy series Die Hard, Emmanuel was featured alongside Kevin Hart and John Travolta in July 2020. Emmanuel began acting in May 2022 and is now a part of the Megalopolis cast directed by Francis Ford Coppola. In the supernatural horror movie The Invitation from 2022, she co-starred with Thomas Doherty. As much as I'd like to continue talking about her life and career, we are here for her workout routine as well, aren't we? Let's see what the secret behind her amazing figure is. What is her mindset and how does she keep in such good form with her workout routine? Stay tuned as we continue with her workout mindset in today's video. Natalie Emanuel's Workout Mindset Never apologize for being strong. Strong is ambition, independence, breaking barriers, kindness, compassion. Strong is women. Don't be afraid to use your strength to pave your own path and encourage others to follow. You've definitely noticed Natalie Emanuel's rock hard abs in her role as Masundi on Game of Thrones in addition to her unwavering allegiance, innocent demeanor, and incredible intellect. Although Miss Sunday may have been born with that body, Emmanuel worked extremely hard to mold it into a White Walker combat shape. The Reebok brand ambassador and actress works out in the gym a whopping six days a week, putting an emphasis on cardio and strength training. She enjoys working out, and Natalie works out nearly every day of the week when she isn't busy with her filming schedule. However, Natalie still makes an effort to exercise four days per week, even when she is overworked and busy. One of the main exercises she uses in her regimen is yoga. You can even make out the word yogi in her Instagram bio. Natalie Emanuel discussed her love and passion for yoga in an interview, as well as how it has aided her in finding a better balance between her body and mind. She explained, One of the most important things I took away from yoga was that your body doesn't function the same way every day, and that's absolutely fine. It's great that you were able to accomplish whatever it was yesterday, however there's a chance you won't be able to do it today. Even if you try tomorrow, you might not be able to. The key is to let yourself be and to stop judging where you are right now. My preferred aspect of yoga is that. Additionally, she enjoys engaging in activities like swimming, boxing, and running when she is not instructing or practicing yoga. She attributes it to her passion for fitness, which has helped her gain confidence. She said, By reaching your fitness goals, you demonstrate to yourself that you are capable of overcoming challenges, and if you can do one, you can take on further challenges. I enjoy engaging in physical activity because it boosts confidence, and I also like being fit and accomplishing goals. But it's not all about exercising. Getting in shape depends greatly on your relationship with food. Natalie Emanuel has been living a vegan diet, crushing her nutritional objectives and taking charge of her health. She claims she is looking forward to eating just plant-based cuisine and becoming vegan. I was hanging out with my friend Mel Wells, who was a great goddess of a lady. 
We were hanging out in LA and she was starting off on her nutrition course and dealing with women's relationships with food in their bodies. She would share her knowledge with me and when I considered the medical history of my family, we've had a lot of illnesses run in the family. It motivated me to take responsibility for the things I put in my body. She found switching to a vegan diet to be difficult, but little did she know that she would become addicted to the way of life. Then she says, So I became vegan for a week at first. I would have reconsidered if it had made me feel extremely bad, but it didn't. So I continued for another week, after which I felt even better. People continued approaching me and complimenting my eyes and how glowing I looked, so I persisted. Before we continue with our workout routine and diet regimen, I would like to mention that if you're looking to get the celeb workout inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. Stay tuned as we continue into the next section of today's video, Natalie Emanuel's workout routine, to get a better sense of her training routine. Natalie Emanuel's workout routine. In order for Natalie to achieve her goals, persistence and commitment are crucial. The well-known star prepares for her roles weeks in advance because of this. She is totally committed to both her fitness objectives and her roles. With this in mind, let's find out what exactly Natalie Emanuel does for her workout routine. Monday, boxing circuits. Warm up, running for 10 to 15 minutes. Boxing circuits, hit the heavy bag for four minutes. One minute of technical punches. One minute of combinations. One minute of power punches. One minute of straight arm punches. Full body weight circuit. Squat press with dumbbells. Two to three sets of one minute. Burpees. Two to three sets of one minute. Slam balls. Two to three sets of one minute. Jumping rope. Two to three sets of one minute. Sit ups. Two to three sets. Leg raises. Two to three sets. Butterflies. Two to three sets. Scissors. Two to three sets. Tuesday upper body. Warm up and treadmill work for 15 minutes. Press ups. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Commando press ups on each arm. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Snap jumps. Three sets of 30 reps. Straight arm plank. Three sets of 30 seconds. Elbow planks. Three sets of 30 seconds. Side planks. Three sets of 30 seconds. Burpees. Three sets of 10 reps. Squats. Two sets of 20 reps. Alternating lunges. Two sets of 20 reps. Wednesday, cardio. Warm up for 10 minutes on the curve runner. Next, sprint for 10 rounds of 30 second sprints and a 30 second jog. Finish with a five minute slow run and cool down. Thursday, yoga flow. Vinyasa yoga flow is based upon dynamic upper body strength, mixing up strength work with flexibility, opening up hips, shoulders, and hamstrings, as well as arm, leg, and shoulder strength drills. Friday, legs and upper body. Warm up on the stepper or on the bike for 10 minutes. Bodyweight squats alternating between normal and sumo squats, one set of 60 reps. Leg press, three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Walking lunges, three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Frog jumps, three sets of 20 seconds. Assisted pull-ups, three sets of 10 reps. Leg presses, three sets of 10 reps. Saturday, cardio circuits. Burpees, three to four sets of one minute. Jumping squats, three to four sets of one minute. Mountain climbers, three to four sets of one minute. Press ups, three to four sets of one minute. Crunches, three to four sets of one minute. Bicycle, three to four sets of one minute. Sunday, rest. The last day of the week is used for rest. You can follow her workout or adjust it to your liking. Whatever you decide, make sure you do it safely. Once you start being active daily, especially if you weren't before that, you will realize that even the easiest workout routine is not that easy if you're not used to it. Now that we learned about her workout routine, it's time to find out about her diet regimen. Natalie Emanuel's Diet Natalie has spoken about her diet, including how she eats meals and snacks while adhering to a vegan diet. Natalie eats quite cleanly and healthily, although not to the same extreme as many actors. She consumes quinoa or bananas as snacks or for small meals. Additionally, Natalie prepares a vegan protein drink to which she typically adds bananas, matcha powder, spinach, almond milk, or coconut water. With that, let's find out what's her diet regimen for a typical day. Breakfast, oatmeal, blueberry pancake, or protein shake if she is busy. Snack, protein shake. Lunch, quinoa, stir-fried greens, beans, and veggies. Dinner, tofu and jackfruit scramble with veggies and avocado. Whether you try her workout and diet regimen or not, Remember that you must find what works best for you and allow your body to relax to avoid overworking yourself. Before we wrap up today's video, I would like to mention that if you're looking to get the Celeb Workout inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. As always, I welcome your suggestions for who I should feature next. Thank you for watching this episode. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.